Welcome to another Liquid Bullet Productions. It's with great sadness that I bring the news infamous armed robber John McVicar has died at the age of 82. On September the 6th, while out walking his beloved Husky Lucky, he suffered a fatal heart attack. Late on Saturday evening, the news outlets broke the story and social media tributes flooded in, with many simply commenting RIP and those who knew him sharing fond memories. John McVicker was an armed robber back in the 1960s and was dubbed public enemy number one by Scotland Yard. Originally he was sentenced to 23 years in prison but after several escapes he was sentenced to 26 years and that was back in 1970. He finally was released from prison in 1978 after gaining parole. Once released, McVicker stayed away from his previous life of crime and became known as an author and journalist. He wrote his autobiography, which he published on his own, as well as scripting the biographical film McVicker, which I think he sold his rights away to for £10,000, taken advantage of by industry professionals, like many long-term prisoners released into a very different world. You only have to watch your interviews with Tony Argent and Yami B to know that nothing has changed in that respect. John also wrote and pub- John also wrote and published a book on the murder of Jill Dando, Dead on Time. Then after the conviction of Barry George was quashed in 2008, he wrote a subsequent book called Who Killed Jill? You Decide. He also wrote a few other books, Charlie Mann, Chechen Warlord, a right to kill Tony Martin's story and a few others. He studied for a postgraduate degree at the University of Leicester after his release and during the latter part of his prison sentence studied for three A-levels. We know McVicar escaped from prison twice. In 1966 he did a runner off a coach transporting him from Parkhurst Prison to the Isle of Wight. He was on the run for four months. Then he managed it again on the 29th of October 1968. An average Tuesday within Durham prison and a then 28-year-old John McVicker was being held in Durham's E-Wing with some of the UK's toughest prisoners. Back then it was considered a prison within a prison and virtually escape-proof. John shattered that illusion for the prison service. He had, over time, carefully chipped away through a wall in the shower room, replacing each brick with a paper mache replica. He was then able to enter a ventilation shaft, crawl along, enter the exercise yard, cross the rooftops before lowering himself down the prison wall to freedom. McVicker had to rough it on the streets of County Durham for a night or two before he could make a call back to his friends in London who quickly dispatched a car to retrieve him. He was on the run this time for nearly two years before being caught. You actually couldn't make it up and that's exactly why in 1980 the classic film simply called McVicar was made about all his exploits. If you haven't seen this British crime classic, which I doubt many of our viewers haven't, then you need to go seek it out. You won't be disappointed. When I think McVicar, the one scene that comes straight to mind is the screw discovering he'd escaped and he's screaming, McVicar! Not the greatest impression, I know. I'm sure you all can let me know in the comments your favourite scene. In the film McVicar, the man himself was played by Roger Daltrey, the lead singer of The Who. Roger had a bit of a checkered past himself, I'm led to believe. It really does feel like the end of an iconic era in British criminals. We are seeing lots of old school villains leave this mortal coil, the likes of Charlie Richardson, Billy Blundell, Lenny McLean, 
to name a few, as well as all the great I Am Train robbers, bar one, the craze of course, and many, many, many more. America has the mob, the Mexicans have the cartels, but nowhere in the world has a lovable rogue like we do here in the British underworld. Now, this might sound like a bit of hero worshipping on my part, and it is. I sort of admire the likes of McVicar, Walter Norville, the Great Train Robbers, the Wembley Mob, the planning and the execution of some of the heists back in the day was sublime and would never, ever, ever be able to be replicated today. Maybe this is a romanticised view, but we all know there's a darker side to this world. Unfortunately, it's been reported that John McVicker was staying alone in a caravan in Essex when he died. And in one of his last conversations with his sister, he said he was cold and lonely. What a sad, sad ending to John McVicker's story for one of the infamous armed robbers in UK history. As always, give us a thumbs up if you're enjoying the content, hit the notification bell and come and find us on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter and TikTok.